Sound of Freedom from its opening day when it had a higher 4th of July box office total than Indiana Jones. Obviously, some caveats involved had some Monday previews and also had the pay it forward plan that Angel Studios is using. But nonetheless, the fact that on 4th of July, Sound of Freedom was the number one movie at the box office, while Disney's Indiana Jones box office disaster sank to number two was a pathetic embarrassment for Disney, but they continue to have good momentum throughout the week. And now here, as we sit opening six days for sound of freedom, an independent movie with a budget of $14 million. That's been sitting on a shelf for five years, took in $40 million. And on a per theater basis took in more than Indiana Jones and the dial of destiny this weekend. And that's, that's with, the mainstream media having an all-out attack against this movie. Human trafficking film Sound of Freedom trashed by liberal outlets as QAnon adjacent. And of course, when you look into some of these, it's not surprising that like Rolling Stone defends cuties, yet has a big mm -hmm. problem with Sound of Freedom. Same yep. thing with the Washington Post. It's, it's pretty disgusting and degenerate, to be honest with you. But it, it's hard to oversell what a massive success this is for Sound of Freedom at the box office. And obviously a powerful message. It is unbelievable. We are at a point where they have decided to attack this movie. There is no scenario where any normal thinking person would do this. You have to be a deranged psychopath to go against this movie. And that's the hill that they want to die on. Go for it. The fact that our haters are taking an opportunity to stand against Sound of Freedom only helps us, only makes our entire point even that much stronger. And it is opening up a lot of people to the corruption going on for people on the left. <laughs> and a lot of YouTubers are going to get put into a tough spot. Because a lot of these YouTubers like to walk, they walk the line, they like to ride the fence, and they don't want to take any stands. And this is the wrong movie to ride the fence on. Finally, the big dogs are getting involved with it. Uh, Drinker, he, he had a review. Jeremy Johns, uh, I know Gary's going to be watching it today, as a matter of fact. Which, I mean, these are guys that you would anticipate, but these are some of the bigger guys. But there's a lot of these guys in the movie sphere that they're going to catch a lot of hell from their audience if they if they decide to review the QAnon movie and positively say, so you know what I mean? A lot of them are going to avoid even putting themselves in that position. And that's going to say more about them than anything. This movie transcends politics. It transcends ideology. It transcends anything because it gets it back to the core foundation of protect children. How is that controversial? How is yeah. that controversial? It's weird. It's very strange that all of a sudden a movie about protecting children is somehow just so inherently far right. Yeah. And a statement like leave children alone is somehow an anti LGBTQ <laughs> message, right? It really makes you wonder where things are headed here if that side is labeling these things as such. But really, once you go and watch the movie, it just is even more crazy that it's being attacked that way because I, I could understand if there was some sort of political messaging. I could understand why people be upset. There's none. There, not. There's nothing political about it. There's nothing right versus left. There's some references to God, but I wouldn't call it a religious movie. You know, th there's some points where faith matters and there's a great line, God's children are not for sale. But it's not like this movie is like, you know, trying to convert people or something like that. It's simply trying to expose the reality and the horrors behind human trafficking and child trafficking, not just for the, the innocent children that are involved in it, but for the families of those children and for the people who have committed their lives to stopping that thing and the horrors that they go through day after day to try to put an end to true evil in the world. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's a powerful movie with a powerful message, nothing political about it. And if you're trying to convince people not to see this movie because of political reasons, there's something really fucked up with you.